On Wednesday, March 20th, 2024, the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport in Union Castries found itself at the center of an alarming situation that led to an early closure and left its employees shaken when an altercation with an irate customer escalated dramatically. According to the Permanent Secretary of the Department, the incident unfolded when the customer, overwhelmed by anger, resorted to violence. The ramifications of this incident were immediate and profound. The department, prioritizing the safety and well-being of its staff and visitors, made the difficult decision to cease operations for the remainder of the day. The Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport wishes to inform the public that services at the Transport Division will be reduced today, 21st March, and tomorrow, 22nd March, 2024. This is as a result of an incident which occurred at the division on the afternoon of 20th March, 2024. The brief facts in the matter are that a customer came in to transact a change of ownership. However, the information presented on the documents did not match the information captured in our licensing and registration database. The customer became insistent that the licensing clerk effect the change according to the documents presented eventually becoming violent, smashing his fist through the glass window, causing significant damage. The Permanent Secretary's account provided a reminder of the challenges faced by public service workers and highlighted the importance of maintaining a safe and secure environment for both employees and the public. Staff is severely traumatized by this incident, which is still under police investigation. The department takes this opportunity to remind the public that transactions can only lawfully be completed if the correct and appropriate documents are presented. Use of force to change the particulars of any entry in the database is not beneficial to anyone. We encourage our customers to utilize the online platform to minimize any inconvenience at this time. As the department works to recover from this unsettling episode, there is a collective call for patience, understanding and respect in all interactions within public spaces. For Choice News Now, I am Onika McCoy reporting.